going on everybody welcome to the channel this is my 2017 Jayco J flight um, been having a little bit of uh, alignment issues with the tires so I bought a correct track alignment system uh, it's gonna lift the camper about two and five eighths inches um, this should give me some adjustments to uh, keep that axle in a line um, should help with uh, my tire wear problems. They've been cupping pretty bad. I don't know if you can see that. When I, you'll see it when I take the tire off, but a simple little uh, kit to install. It's got a couple brackets. They extend the leaf, pre, uh, the leaf spring perch down. Then it gives you some uh, different brackets here um, with a couple different alignment holes. You could uh, move the axle forward or backwards I believe up to like a quarter of an inch so I already did the other side so I got some of the hard work done uh, figured out what's gonna what's it gonna take to do this side um, it's pretty self-explanatory this side should be the easy side ran into a couple snags on the other side because since it's such a small camper there's no place to uh, to place the jack so I got my tools laid out here Basically, I got a, uh, a floor jack, a couple jack stands, drills, an impact, and uh, a few sockets. That's about all you really need to get this uh, installed, so I'm going to get right to it. I'll explain what I can along the way, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Alright, well, I got the camper lifted. I got it supported on jack stands. I got it up that extra few inches. Um, like I said, it's going to be lifted uh, two and five eighths inches. I already got my jack up underneath there. I'm going to use that to support the axle to uh, drop the leaf spring out of there. So I'm going to get that tire out of there and uh, we'll just go from there. you could see that you could see how just terrible that edge is it's chopped real bad inside edge looks fine that to me is a cause of poor alignment so that's where this comes this kit comes into play and basically now you get a better look at what we're doing this is the uh, leaf spring perch here and this bracket it's going to extend this down and actually gives you, I have two holes to actually determine how high I can, it's like an inch or so or two and five eighths. I'm going for two and five eighths. So I got two brackets. They basically just install like that. A little spacer in there. And then this bracket right, this hole right down here, this elongated hole, that's where the leaf spring's going to mount. And that's where the adjustment comes from. Like I said, pretty simple. Very, very simple install. I'm going to get to it. Okay, so I got the nut off the back. I'm just going to take my hammer, hammer that bolt out. I'm going to go from there. Now that I got it started, the jack so I'm just going to use the floor jack here to take a little bit of the pressure off the leaf spring and that will ease the tension on that bolt make it a little bit easier to pop on out of there Okay, now that I got that bolt out, I can relieve the tension, and just like that, got the axle out of the way. And 
and now from here it's pretty easy all I got to do just install these brackets just like that and that's gonna give me space to uh, align it get that two inches okay so I got the bolt out I relieved the tension on the axle by lowering the jack so now all I got to do is just basically bolt on these new pieces so I managed to find these parts on eTrailer.com uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything um, I had to do my own research to find them and uh, it seems to be a halfway decent company to work with or website rather um, I think the company that makes the parts is called correct track they were about a hundred and seventy three dollars I believe for a single axle trailer um, so they do recommend one of the things is to replace these little bushings here um, I'm not going to do that. I'll come back to it in the uh, future. Um, I just want to get this done, but I will make sure that they're re-greased. They say they last about 2,500 miles, so I think I should be okay for now. So, from here, all I got to do is get this little spacer here. This is going to take up the space in between the bracket here. Once I get that in, we'll go from there. Okay, got my spacer in there. I'm gonna take my two plates. bolt through now this is the first thing that I came into an issue with the other side is they supply these nylock washers here or these nylock nuts here to go on the bolts and the bolt is not exactly long enough on the top one here to actually catch the nylon part of this bolt so what I did to compensate for that is I just added a little thread locker for peace of mind. Um, maybe in the future I might uh, swap it out for a longer bolt, but for the time being that's what I did. I would recommend doing that just because they use a nylock bolt for a reason and um, that's so it doesn't shake loose. So that's just what I'm going to do. I would say you can make your own recommendation. I'm no professional. That's just uh, how I'm addressing the situation. So I'm just gonna take a little dab. Got my thread locker in there. I don't plan on ever taking these off in the future. So it should be fine. I used a red thread locker. Now that I got those bolts tightened in their place, I'm going to take the provided self tapper screws and I'm going to put a self tapping screw in here. And I'm going to do the same on the back. That just the, the allows these to not move anywhere. And um, from there, I'll uh, figure out. The alignment plates I'll show you how I did that which is basically I just kept them in a neutral position um, I'll put the bolt back in and we'll throw the tire on ah what a bummer so the kit did not supply the self tapping screws I'm supposed to put one self tapping screw in right here and another one on the back side um, so I'm just gonna move for forward I already got a little bit of grease 
right here in the bushing and I have my plate here um, they give you a couple different plates to choose from and they give you a little bit of a diagram here they tell you how to line them up um, basically I just use the chart they give you and uh, came up with uh, the center desired position I wanted figured out the whole position which uh, is kinda you just gotta figure it out for yourself um, you know, but it's pretty easy. You just got to look at the plates, line up the holes like I did here. You can see the all the holes are in the position they are. And then I'm going to slide this plate right back here, and that's going to give me that's going to give me the position where to place the uh leaf spring bolt. And uh that's basically um the 2 and 5 eighths inches in the drop and the different place the different placement in the holes different deciding where you are gonna put this bracket is actually gonna make an adjustment forward or backwards on the axle therefore uh, giving you the alignment that you're looking for to alignment base to align it excuse me you're basically just gonna take a measurement from the ball of the trailer to uh, you know the axle on the left side compare it to the right side and basically just um, you know come up with the same measurement on each side and there's your alignment um, so I'll do that uh, maybe in another video I'll determine how aligned it is I probably won't measure it in this uh, my main determination to do this was basically to just lift the uh, the trailer the two inches and um, allow for a larger tire size as well that was my other issue i wanted to uh, address with this so i'll get that bolt in and we'll go from there okay i got my plates installed got the bolt threaded in there got the nut on the back man i have to tell you they give you these brackets this i would say is probably the most difficult part about this process is figuring out these stupid holes uh, just wish there was some way that they labeled the side A or B or whatever that would have made a lot of sense plus they give you so many of them and they're they're not the same these brackets are different so that made it tough so I'm gonna snug up all my bolts get the jack out of there put the tire back on and um, I'll show you the end result All right, guys. There's the uh, finished product. It's uh, two and five eighths inches higher. Uh, sits a lot more level with the truck. Got my sewer pipe up a uh, little bit higher off the ground. Oh, there's my little Jack Russell. Excuse him there. And uh, overall, I have to say I'm pretty happy with the uh, installation. Pretty, pretty easy to do. I would definitely recommend it. Um, these trailers have no uh, no way to keep the align the uh, axle aligned, and um, you know, especially if you're going to lift a trailer. A lot of people like to do the uh, the uh, axle flip, put the axle beneath the leaf springs. Um, I don't believe in that. I believe those axles have a little bit of a curve to them uh, to compensate with weight and whatnot. So I think this was a good alternative. It was very easy overall. I think maybe it took me an hour and a half. Obviously I took some breaks. I was explaining things. Had to look around because um, I, I don't really don't believe I lost them bolts. I'm pretty sure they just didn't come with the uh, or excuse me the self-tapping screws um, I'm pretty sure I didn't lose them they just didn't come in the package it looked a little beat up it came from UPS but hey no big deal uh, no harm no foul so I hope you like this video um, if you have any comments or questions leave them in the uh, comments section down below um, give me a like if you thought it was uh, informative um, subscribe if you want to see more of the changes I plan on doing to this camper 
Um, I think next is going to be a larger wheel and tire. And then I'm going to move on to the inside, or we'll see. Maybe I'll jump back onto the inside. I'm going to start taking apart the interior, um, start making a little bit more room for uh, the wife and the two dogs. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.